So there's no question that we've made real progress in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis in the last decade. There are two major reasons for that. First of all, there have been new biologic medicines increasingly introduced into practice. And secondly, we've taken on new strategies, a far more aggressive approach to the treatment of rheumatoid, early intervention, and strategic intervention driven by measurements of disease activity. But we're still in need of improvement. We can't cure the disease. Remission is too infrequently obtained, and there's still disease activity in the majority of our patients. So we're looking at new medicines, there are options for new biologics targeting cytokines like, for example, IL-6, IL-17, GMCSF receptor. There are also small molecules that can target chemokines, particular interest in CCR1 at this moment. Similarly, and spurred on by the success of the introduction of tofacitinib, there are numerous new molecules targeting kinases. Now, these kinases regulate this, the receptor function of a number of cytokines and give us the opportunity for new therapeutic development. So there are a number of kinase inhibitors, JAK kinase inhibitors, but also targets like BTK, PI3 kinase, which offer promise for the future. Mm -hmm.